Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction. And in this video, I wanna answer the question of should you buy a fixer upper or should you buy a house that is ready to move in and doesn't need any work? And just so that you know, I run Home Love Construction. We're a general contracting firm that does design build work in the Tampa Bay area. And so we do between 40 and 60 projects a year. We do a lot of whole home renovations. In fact, most of our clientele is people who buy fixer uppers. And so I wanna give you uh, my personal take, this is one man's opinion, uh, but it's based on a lot of evidence and facts out in the real world on whether you should buy a fixer upper and whether you should buy a new construction home. And really what I would say to this is, there's kind of two big scenarios here that I'll address and the answer is different for one versus the other. So just to, just to get it out real quick, for uh, younger people who will probably be moving later in their life and be doing a lot of moving around and you're really you know, in the swing of your career, you're probably very busy, you're probably like on the upswing of how much you're making and the more time you invest in your career, the more money you make, the better your, your life gets. For that type of person, the young, mobile, like upstat person, I would actually recommend not buying a fixer upper because it will take time away from the thing that is your main thing. Even if you hire a general contractor to do the renovation, it still requires so much planning with you and your general contracting. And if you like hire like us with the design team, it still requires a lot of time. And then during the renovation, you're still so massively inconvenienced that for a lot of busy professional people, it actually doesn't wind up making sense. And I don't mean to talk myself out of the job here. If you're a young professional person and you're like, Brad, I'm buying a fixer upper and I want you to come do the renovation, I'll do your renovation, no issue. But would I recommend it? You know, what the video is about, would I make that recommendation to you? No, I would not. But that said, if you do it, happy to help. Now, for the other type of person, that would be uh, someone who is later on in their career, in more uh, mature as far as the, the stability of their pay. They've probably kind of hit, hit the peak of where they're gonna be. They're really in a very stable job situation. Uh, most of their kids are probably towards that adult stage. They're looking at what you would call their forever home, like the home that they're, you know, a lot of people say this, they find it funny, but they'll say, uh, no, this is the house I'm gonna die in. You know, this is the house I'm gonna leave to my kids. If you're in that type of situation and you're looking for that home, I love fixer uppers as the idea because what you can do, even in this crazy real estate market of 2022, you can buy a house at somewhat of a discount to the market and actually make it your own. So you may be selling a larger house and downsizing and have a lot of equity to work with and money to put into the house. If that's the situation, 100% buy a fixer upper and let's do a sick renovation for you. And here's why that's, that's also on the converse side, not me trying to necessarily talk myself into work, although I'm obviously happy to help you. But the reason I feel so strongly about that is because you can make it 100% yours. You can actually do whatever you want inside the house. You can, if you want to take the kitchen from one side of the house and literally move it to the other side of the house, we can do that. And we have done that. And it's awesome a lot of times. So a lot of times it makes more sense to have a kitchen not right next to your front door, but actually in the back of the house by the pool next to the huge sliders. So that you're sitting at your island and you get to look out at your backyard and the golf course. We've done that multiple times. And a lot of times it just, it actually booms the value of the house. I had somebody who paid us uh, over $100,000 to do a kitchen renovation and move the kitchen. Then they wound up selling the house for $150,000 more than they bought it. So they made 50 grand renovating their kitchen. They, you know, they were in their forever home, then they wound up moving for, you know, life happens. But that said, if you're in that situation where you're looking at a house and you think you can totally make it your own 100%, Absolutely, I think a fixer upper is the way to go. Now, things to, to kind of expound on what I was saying earlier, keep in mind that the typical whole home renovation where you're doing bathrooms, kitchens, flooring, ceilings, uh, maybe changing the roof, like the front facade of what the roof structure looks like, adding windows, doors, all that kind of stuff, a typical project like that takes between four and seven months, depending on the size of the house. In some cases, if you're in, in a three, five, 7,000 square foot house, you're looking at nine to 12 months of actual construction work time, not counting the time it takes to actually plan and get the permit. So realize that that's a, a pretty major inconvenience. In most of those cases, it's not feasible to live in the house while the renovation is going on. Some people do do it, uh, but it's not the recommended way to go. The best situation is the house is vacant, 
workers can come and go as they please. There's no personal belongings, you know, no children in the house. We can just get in, do the work, and leave at any point. We can have people work weekends and just go crazy on it and get it done faster and more efficiently. But some people do live in their home. Keep in mind that if you're the person who's gonna have to live in your house, I would not recommend doing a fixer upper because you're gonna have to go through a lot of, it, it does get stressful. You know, that's, that's the other thing is, Renovation is a stressful process if you've never done it before. For us, for a general contractor, we do it every day. It's not stressful for us. We know it's coming, we know what things to avoid, we know what's gonna happen, it's gonna get dusty, blah, 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 it's gonna take longer than expected, schedule changes, yada, yada. We're used to all that, but for you, the being the first time you've ever done it, it's a lot, it's a lot to take in. And so, uh, you know, that considered, these are all things that you need to be thinking about when you're picking whether you should buy a fixer-upper or whether you should buy a house that's just turnkey move-in ready. And so my recommendation to you again is if what I described about a renovation sounds not appealing to you, I would suggest that you buy a, uh, not a fixer-upper, either a new construction or turnkey house that's already been remodeled. But if the, if the pros of renovations, which is being able to make the house 100% your own and exactly how you want it, not how the previous guy wanted it, not how the next guy wants it, but how you want it. If you want to do green cabinets, let's do freaking green cabinets. We're doing some green cabinets in, in a renovation. It's going to look amazing. So if that appeals to you, buy a fixer upper and hire a great general contractor to do a renovation for you. And obviously you're, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, I'm your guy. So let's do an amazing renovation. But uh, that said, I hope that that kind of gives you some clarity on from a general contractor's perspective, right? This is a guy, this is all I do. Uh, that's what I think as far as whether you should buy a fixer upper or buy a house that's turnkey move in ready. So I hope that this value, that this video brought you value. Uh, I hope that it cleared up kind of a little bit of your thinking if you're looking at deciding to buy a fixer upper or, or a house that's turnkey ready. That said, if you need a recommendation on a realtor in the Tampa Bay area, I know some amazing, I know one in particular who's just incredible, who will find you the exact house that fits what you're looking for within the parameters that I just discussed. So send us a message or an email if you're looking for a realtor in the Tampa Bay area. A lot of people are moving here and they're, they're kind of not sure who to use in the area. I've been in the area for a long time and I've gotten to meet a lot of realtors. There's some really amazing ones and there's some ones who are just like, well, I could have done that <laughs> and I'm no, nowhere near being a realtor. So that said, if you need that recommendation, send us a message or go to homelove.construction and uh, just fill out the get a quote and just say, hey, I'm looking for a realtor. Be happy to provide a recommendation for you. That said, I hope this video brought you value. If it did, hit the subscribe button. Also like it and leave a comment with what you thought. Are you going to be buying a fixer upper or are you going to be buying a new construction house or one that's turnkey, just ready to open the door, move in, put your stuff in and be living? Let me know what you think. See you in the next video. I appreciate your attention. Peace.